Hey, 630, you there? Or did you fall asleep on us, huh? Yeah, uh, it looks like he fell asleep, for heaven's sake. How about, uh, how about 631, Radio Graffiti? Ghost, what's up? It's Hitman Cause. Hey, what's up? The Hitman Cause in the house, dude. Cheers to you. Hope you're having a good Bowler Friday going into Saturday, man. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. How about you? I thought I'm going to hold on, man. I'm all right, but Luke Smith fucking just donated another 10 beers so I can have another episode of the shit that I just watched. Anyway, sorry, yeah. dude. Hold on, I think, I think, hold on, I think Yakass wants to talk to you here. Uh, Yakass, are you there? All right, I'm sorry. I thought it was Yakass. I had no fucking idea. All right. Anyway, what's going on with you, Hitman? How you doing, dude? Not much. I, I really enjoyed that, uh, that live Thunderdome discussion that we had. Well, we were trying to get into something, and then it just went retarded because, I mean, I guess that's what Helmet Boy does. I mean, that's his shtick. And then we had fucked up fucking shit bird Arn Hammond in there, and, uh, you know, things went haywire. So let me do, let me go ahead and have another shot. All right. Hey, uh, cheers, uh, cheers to you, uh, Hitman. Hey, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, fucked up fucking piece of shit communist we hate the most. All right. Cheers, baby. Cheers. All right. Uh, all right, go ahead, Hitman. What you got? Uh, you got anything to add, or what's up, dude? Uh, actually, if I'm being honest, I'm gonna get called because that that same splice, I mean, remix kept getting played over and over again, and 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 they, and they were this call back to back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. So you want to talk some football? You usually talk football with me, dude. You know, what do you think about uh, this weekend's games here on uh, Sunday, man? Um, I, th- I think it's going, it's going to be pretty rough because, you know, we, we're playing y'all again. And I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not feeling that confident. Well, I'm not feeling that confident, but I know that we'll beat you guys. But I, I've, I've already killed the attempt at either going to the Super Bowl or even going to the conference finals and winning. I mean, look, we have the defense. I'm talking Dallas Cowboys. We got the defense. We've got the special teams. Fucking Dak Prescott, man. He's got C.D. Lamb out there. Now, I'll be honest. I think we've talked about this on the last uh, time we talked. I think that uh, Pollard is not ready for prime time when it comes to the running back. And I think we're we're really mi- missing Zeke. You know, uh, Zeke Elliott. We're really missing a man. I mean, I know that his uh, yardage per carry went down to some extent, but he was still able to, you know, push it through for four and change yards. We can't even get three and change with Pollard, you know? Shit, excuse Yeah, me. but I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Zeke is doing any better on the Patriots, but then again, they're, they're no good anyways. Well, let's be honest. Uh... Belichick is a quarterback-based offensive coach, at least in his, in his offensive schemes. He very rarely had any kind of running back. I mean, I, I think the, the running back that had any kind of name that he had was Corey Dillon. I don't know if you remember Corey Dillon, but Corey, yeah, yeah Corey Dillon, he went from the Cincinnati Bengals to the Patriots, and that was because he badmouthed the Cincinnati Bengals to the point where they let him go. I don't know if you remember, he went on like after the season was over. I forgot what fucking year it was. I think it was maybe 2005, I think, or I forgot what it was. But uh, uh, Corey Dillon went in front of the cameras like, this team sucks. I want out of here. They won't fuck it out. This fucking coach sucks. The team sucks. And after he said that, he fucking got kicked off the team, and that's what he got with Belichick. And Belichick, like he does with most of his running backs, sparingly used the running back. Very sparingly. Buy that for a dollar. Very spare. Hold on. I think we got Art Hammond that wants to talk to you, Hitman. Hey, Art Hammond, are you there? Hey, Ghost. Hey, Hitman. Hey, Hitman, since I know you like football, did you know that there's an anime called I Shield 21 that involves a, a football team? Also, I mean, since you're black, I know you played a lot of PlayStation in the Second Genesis because I know that most of the black kids growing up always had the Second Genesis and whatnot. Since we're watching an anime based on the Second Genesis, did you ever play a Genesis? 
Yeah, yeah, I, I had the Genesis for a good few years. Wait, which one did you, uh, which games did you play on it? Uh, I, I mean, I, I mainly played NBA 2K, but I also played uh, San Francisco Rush. Oh, sweet. Also, I gotta say, uh, Ghost, I hope you liked my figurines that I showed in the Thunderdome. You know, I know that you really appreciated them a lot. No, I didn't, and you're a piece of trash, dude, all right? Give me a fucking break. And hey, Hitman, you want to give anybody any shout-outs or anything, man? Well, of course, you know, sh shout-outs to, to you as always. Shout-outs to the Thunderdome, man. All right, man. Hey, we appreciate you in the Thunderdome, and cheers to you, Hitman. It's good to see you, all right, man? Cheers. Always. All right, man. Cheers to the Hitman cause, even though everybody out there is talking garbage to the old Hitman. I don't know why. Okay, I think we got Yak Ass Radio Graffiti. There's must have been a freaking dude. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Now take that shit off. What the fuck? Take that shit. Dude, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck is going on here? And here we are, my afterthoughts. Um, first off, for anything else, shout out to. The helmet boy, I, I can't even front the splice that or remix, if you will, that he that kept playing throughout the whole show. That shit was hilarious. That's number one. Number two, shout out to Art Hammond. Um, we honestly, it, like next go show or or whatever, need need to discuss more gaming and also. I got I gotta um, also correct a mistake that I made when it came to talking to him about games because you because he was talking to me about Sega Genesis but I confused it with the Sega Dreamcast and the thing is I had both systems as a matter of fact the Sega the, the, the Sega um, Genesis was the first game system I ever ha was the first game console I've ever had and as far as the first well as far as what I played for it, like, I'll tell you straight up, man. For like, um, to to start to start things off, I had uh, um multiple. I, I I had like a smorgasbord of games for it that I that I I got that and the system itself from from a, for a literally my sixth birthday, in which I got um Bulls versus Lakers in the NBA playoffs. It's basically. Uh, that's basically um, one of the um, beginning games of the NBA Live series, along with Lakers vs. Celtics and Bulls vs. Blazers. Um, so yeah, I, I had that. Um, I also had Madden 94, Tony La Russa Baseball. David Robinson Supreme Court, which honestly, I, I, I think I think that was. I, I I honestly thought that was some like generic shit because David Robinson, despite being in the NBA, couldn't get an okay from the NBA. Cause because at first when when I was a kid, I thought it was it was him in college. That is until freaking my that is until my cousin about when I was like eight let me know that freaking David Robinson came from the Navy so yeah anyways yeah I had that I also had Super Street Fighter 2 um where y'all don't laugh but freaking um the uh the, you know how the how the screens will look like, where where at first they'd have the regular portrait of the characters, and then after the fight they'll have the portraits of them looking all fucked up and shit. Yo, no joke. How they looked when they got their ass kicked used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> Especially M Bison. M Bison, like he used to, to scare the shit out of me with how he looked like after he got beat up. But, anyways, yeah, I had, I had all that. I also had Samurai Showdown, some great shit. Uh, freaking Tam Tam was a fucking cheat code. 
and then and then I had I had the extension. Um, yeah, you guys should know what it is. Where where you know they had that accessory where you put it on top of where the cartridge goes, and then um, and then certain amount of games goes in there, and then you play those games. That I had I had that extension on there. I had that extension as well. I also had Power Rangers too. But what I was what I was confusing when it came to 2K and um and uh and San Francisco Rush, I was I was thinking of Sega Dreamcast, which I which I did have for like many years and shit. And and honestly, I probably would have still had it now. But uh, due to unfortunate circumstances, it got ruined. <laughs> Cause when my little brother was 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 still a kid, he accidentally slam dunked my Dreamcast into the fish tank. And and what I'm guessing happened was that um, being put in the fish tank. Uh, Fraught, uh, completely ruined the uh, the laser. You know what's used to uh, scan scan the disc. Cause eventually, once it dried out, the game actually did turn on. But no matter what disc you put in there, whether it be a musical CD or or even a game itself. Nothing would read. Nothing. So, and so yeah. And then, and then also, as far as far as um, what I wanted to talk to Ghost, I, I definitely gotta apologize to y'all for me really not saying much until he brought up football. That's only because like, even though. Uh, Helmet Boy's splice was fucking hilarious. It threw me off because so many times it was playing consecutively that I that I literally lost my train of thought and I for, and I forgot what I was gonna talk to Ghost about and and then once he called to me, it was it's like a deer in headlights because because like because it was getting to the point where like. You know, the, his splice kept getting played so frequently that it um that I honestly thought I was never gonna get called. And I even tried like hell when he first opened the radio graffiti lines to be the to, to like be the first person to you know call up the line. But that blew up in my face, cause, cause literally, cause like ninety to ninety-five percent of the calls was Helmet Boy spliced, and I'm and I'm not put, and I'm not holding that against uh, Helmet Boy. He, he he just he just wanted to engage in, in some harmful in some harmless trolling on Ghost. That I ain't got no problem with. It's just you know, unfor- un- unfortunately he he kept. He kept doing it so much that I guess Ghost either never saw my number until until like at the last second when he called me, or he, 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 it was near to the point where he was gonna call me, but like all all the numbers that that had the splice and Helmboy kept calling back with multiple numbers kept um skipping over my number so if any so if anything you know he was he was he was uppercutting me but again not not holding that against him because that because that shit was funny as a matter of fact the the remix kept getting funnier the more the more it kept getting played so so shout out to helmet boy for that but that, that that's it that's it for this video that's it for my afterthoughts 
I definitely want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and chill with your boy. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment if you feel like it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And as always, by way of Struggle Vision Productions, I am Hitman Cos. And if you see me coming, run.